All right, hello everybody and happy Monday. So today we are going to do a q and I know a lot of times we were doing these the last Monday of every month, but we have a special one coming next Monday where we have a little bit of an essential oil training. So we decided to do this one for um, today. And we also, I feel like we haven't had Hold a on, Q&A. Are you guys, can you guys type in and see if you if you can hear us? Let's see. Michelle, can you hear us? Are you able to? Yes. Can hear you good. Perfect. Okay, awesome. Great. Thank you, Michelle. <laughs> okay. And as I was saying, I feel like we haven't done a Q&A in a, maybe a, we skipped a month, I feel like, because we had a couple of product launches, which are definitely more important. So while you guys are thinking about your questions, I have a few, um, you know, repeat ones that I'm going to go over. So maybe it's your question, but if not, write it in. And remember that these are product related questions, product health related questions. Um, and, uh, you know, sometimes if it's something so unique to you personally, then I'm just going to have you email me and we can go through it like that together. Um, okay. So first of all, I want to, sorry, I keep losing it on my phone. Okay. I want to talk about our essential oil box and there's a design on it. It's on the back as well. Okay. There's a design on it. Now this design was not intended to be offensive in any way, shape or form. Um, and this is from our design team. I'm going to read to you what it means. Regarding the sacred geometry on the box, this is multiple sacred geo designs put together by our design team to reference earth, life, and balance. The most prominent design is a Merkaba, which combines opposing energies and perfect balance, masculine, feminine, earth, and cosmos. The Merkaba reminds us of the potential power we yield when we find balance and raise our vibration. Now, we thought this was a very cool thing to go with essential oils, but again, we did not know that this was going to be offensive in any way, shape, or form, and apparently in some certain countries, it is. Um, now, what's done is done. We already have launched our first batch, but we will change the box or the design on the box when we go to our next ordering. Again, not our intention at all. I've had some really weird emails saying that coming out in February, we're going to be launching products with some satanic symbols on them. This is kind of absurd to me. Letting you know again, not intentional. We liked what the design meant, didn't know more beyond that. All right, cleared that one up. Um, reformulations. We had talked about in the past that we reformulated the um, daily, I mean, sorry, the women's and men's multivitamin, as well as the magnesium. Now, the magnesium pretty much looked the same, and I think the size of the capsule was a little bit bigger, I believe, on this one. But mainly with the men's and women's, we got a lot of feedback on the color and they thought something was wrong. They used to be a bright, a bright orangish. Now they're not. Something's wrong with my multivitamin. There's nothing wrong. We've just reformulated. So again, they, they look a little different. And this was, reformulation was for the better. And again, we discussed this. It's in a Zoom. Um, yeah, so multivitamins are great. And they might smell a little different too. Completely normal. Promise you that. Um, E3 versus aminos. So ever since we relaunched the E3, which we're so excited about, love it so much, love the feedback on it. I've been getting a lot of questions on whether you should take both or which one over the other. I highly recommend taking both because yes, they both contain essential amino acids, but they also each contain very unique ingredients. Now on the E3, a long list of patented ingredients <clears throat> are on there. Very beneficial for health. We've also gone through that as we just did the product launch on that. And then also your essential aminos, um, non-caffeinated versus caffeinated, but these also contain L-carnitine, uh, citrulline, arginine, glutamine, all very, very important amino acids for muscle growth and cellular health. So definitely take two. How do you want to take them? Obviously this having 125 milligrams of caffeine, take that one more in the morning, earlier half of the day. This one take later half of the day or combine the two. Um, what else? Methylene blue and light. A lot of questions about taking methylene blue and oh my gosh, I don't have access to the sun or the red light. Not necessary. No, no, no not that. necessary at all, but it's it can be beneficial if you combine the two. It's called photobiomodulation. So where the, the light from the sun uh, or red light can potentiate the effect on the mitochondria. So yes. kind of a synergistic or a beneficial effect. Awesome. Um, 
Okay, college in comparison. I get so many emails. Yeah. Like I get a lot of comparison. Of Here we go. Right. I get, I get a lot of comparison emails. So how does this product compare to ours? Okay, and I always love those and I encourage you guys to send them to me. One of the most common ones I get though is collagen. And I feel like what you might be missing one of the main or the, the big picture of the whole thing. It's mm -hmm. not just type one and three versus type two or marine versus bovine and companies are going to say like of course theirs is the best because it's marine or theirs has type two so we're number one i want you to also focus they're all great i mean collagen peptides are great all of them are great so you well, know, some small, are better yeah small little comparisons there or some are a little bit better than others mm -hmm. and why we chose ours again is in the product training video but what i want you guys to notice is the patented ingredients that we have added to our collagen with which are huge sets us apart from all the others by far. I don't know if you want to go into those ingredients a little bit or? Well, since collagen, it's collagen is a protein, but it has a unique structure. It's a triple helix. Some of the ingredients we chose actually increase the absorption and the utilization of the of that peptide, of the, the, the protein. So, and then actually some of the other things, the the preflex is possible. It's a standardized Boswellia. For those that like frankincense essential oil, you'll see that, that, that they're the same. Uh, but, you know, what's cool is that what, what gives it the color, right, and the aroma. It's like a tea, and I just did heat this water up, actually. It's very, very flavorful, very nice. It's an unflavored collagen peptide, but it has that color because of all the phytonutrients, the antioxidants that are in the patent ingredients, like Lisa said, the preflex, the polynol. These are extra extracts as well as the velocitol. So good for joint health, good for skin, good for the absorption and utilization of the protein, and loaded with phytonutrients. Right. So it's not really comparing apples to apples okay. when we have to compare our collagen. Really unique product here. Very. Um, while we're on that, another comparison I get is a lot. Um, we've talked about proprietary blends before mm. and why we don't like them. But again, get a little bit confusing because we do use proprietary blends. What we don't like about them when other companies use them is when they don't disclose the amount of each ingredient. They literally will lump all the ingredients into one um, chunk. And then they write the total amount of the blend. So again, you have no idea what you're taking in there. Maybe the star ingredient that you're looking for for your health is just listed in there. It might be a sprinkle because they're not telling you how much they use. They might take the most, the cheapest ingredient and put the most of that in there. And then the, the more expensive ones that probably the ones you really want and then sprinkle those in. So it's hard for me when I get the comparison emails to, and I see these big, long proprietary blends. And I just have no idea. Really, again, they're not comparable. So if you notice with our proprietary blends, we list the ingredients and we list the amount. So focus on that as well. Um, I think I had one more super quick. Shipping to Mexico, unfortunately, um, Customs is not allowing the nutritional supplements in. I get the question a lot of like, why are we ignoring Mexico? It's not our shipping carriers. It's not live good. It's when we ship it there, they are returned. So that's why um, it is only the apparel. And I believe coming maybe today, essential oils will get turned on because those are not considered the common nutritional supplements. So we got that access to that going to Mexico. That's very exciting. All right. Questions. Uh, so we are still working on Mexico to get the nutritional supplements in. Yes. That, yeah, sure. that, that, there's another avenue we are pursuing and we, we will continue to do so because that we find that to be very important. Yes. You cover everything? My, uh, uh, my, yeah. My okay. Awesome. All right. Let's start at the top. Any TA on household cleaners? You're right. We are coming out with lots of new and exciting products, not just nutritional supplements. Household cleaners is one of them that is uh, not far away, actually. I don't know if it's two months, but it's in the top of the list. Yes. Um, and remember, always tune in to our Friday Zooms because that's or watch them you know, uh, live on YouTube because that's where Ryan gives all product updates every single week. So that's helpful. Um, I would keep the moisture absorbing packets in there till it's empty because I mean, think of it. I mean, especially us in Florida, I mean, our house is humid a lot. So if maybe I don't seal my collagen a hundred percent, you know, and then some of that humidity gets in. So it's wise to always just keep the moisture packets in. Question comes in. Why do we use such large containers? I'm right there with you. We're always looking at trying to reduce our plastics for sure. Thankfully, these are mostly multiple use packaging. We, the reason for the size is because during the fill process, it, it is, it is based on, the volume, but there's a lot of fluff. There's a lot of blowback. So when you're filling with powders and such, you do need that extra space. Same with capsules in the in the bottles. We have we're always evaluating for more economically or environmentally friendly and conscious uh, packaging. Though I promise you that. 
Mm, no, too broad or too specific, I mean. Thank you, Matthew. He likes the sacred geometry. <laughs> Glad we did not offend you. Um, T-shirts with long sleeves. Uh, we will discuss adding more. Um, I had this one made. Yeah, same myself. thing here. I had the long sleeve one um, I had made as well. And I believe we do have the logo in the back office. So Should be. very easy if you want to personalize something for yourself. Very easy. The problem is... We make something that's only a you know a small demand, and we have all this apparel sitting there waiting. So a lot of times it's a great recommendation. If you want to make something, it's it's um very easy. Any thought of adding bone broth? Where do you see that? Oh, <laughs> we were just yes, we were just today. talking about it. <clears throat> yeah. Um 100 percent What does that mean? I don't know. I don't know. We're going to pass on that one. From, yeah. is it Genia? JM? You can email me that. I'm yeah, not exactly sure. sure what you mean by that. Okay. You read that? No. This is just a good, fun, interactive time. So if you have any questions, shoot them in. We're going to blast through these. Yes. Um, shipping inquiries. You guys reach out to support at livegood.com. Uh, they're doing a great job getting back to, getting back to everybody. Um, oh, good question here. Hey, Lionel. Are you planning to rebrand Instant Youth and the Ageless? Yes. Yes, yes we are definitely that. trying to move on and away from those two products, but we are going to continue um, the places they occupy, if that makes any sense. The the way that they're designed, um, we're going to come out with a clean label. We're on it. We've, we've gone through over oh, yeah, almost a dozen right now samples, just trying to get to it, we'll keep reformulating. We're coming with it. We got it. Um, what specific products are not vegan? Uh, right now, the Factor Four because of the anchovies, the D three, um, which which we're well, discussing. Lichen, yeah, yeah, I think we're going to go to the lichen form of of D three, so that would be a vegan friendly. Yes, but right now, the Factor Four, the D three, and the collagen, um, and we are coming out with the whey protein, which of course that won't be vegan. Hi, Debbie. Mm -hmm. She asked the type of monk fruit. We are using monk fruit as our sweetener. You will see it. It's difficult to work with. I will tell you that, but we are using it. Tank top for men. Yes, I think there are tank tops still in the back or still for purchase. No. Didn't have the barcode. Somebody's asking about a barcode. We are actually updating our designs to include barcodes. Ah, singles on the essential oils. Not yet. Not yet. Let us get through this launch with a pack. I understand the logic and asking for that, but let's see what happens going forward. We may expand the line of oils as well. So singles is not out of the question. Uh, you renew your membership in your back office under the My Memberships tab. Uh, but typically, if you have a card on file, you know it is automatic renewal. So if you have a card on file, when your membership is due, you'll be charged um, unless you make a change. Any sort of protein bars in the works, not in the works, but I love my protein bars. They're very um, helpful. So um, I agree and we will discuss. Yeah, CMOS is also in consideration too. Um, some, so it, you, I see somebody, your sister registered, um, but wasn't a member, wants to be an affiliate you can always join as an affiliate by scrolling all the way down to the bottom and clicking on the affiliate link, but you can also reach out to support at livegood.com and they will further guide you through that. Question here from, okay. So from Carrie for any products for men's sexual health. Yes. Existing ones now are really anything that um, has dietary nitrate. So that's similar. The similar pathway that Viagra works is how, where's our super reds? Let me grab balls for up top. <laughs> so he's getting the super reds and I mean, also the essential amino. Yeah, essential aminos too. So the super reds definitely is good in a sense for sexual health in theory, right? Because a lot of these ingredients are loaded with, with antioxidants that are dietary nitrates. For instance, beetroot, 
Oh, Aronia berry, uh, grapeseed extract, pomegranate. Uh, what was the other one? I said grapeseed. There is others. So the, the, the importance there, though, is that because they increase the nitrate, they increase the nitric oxide production, which is what increases the blood flow, opens the blood vessels, increases the blood flow. And that's the same pathway that Viagra works on. In the aminos is citrulline and arginine, both two precursors to nitric oxide as well. So... Yes. And I also have a post coming out later this week with my mouthwash recipe. Mm. And why I'm tying that into this is because using uh, commercial mouthwashes, over-the-counter mouthwashes, they can actually kill the bacteria that produces nitric oxide. So kind of think about that. Say you're using like your Listerine all the time or whatever, and you're just killing that bacteria that increases our nitric oxide production. And you're not really helping yourself in that department. So um, check, be on the lookout for my, my post on how to make one with our essential oils. Yeah, the, the, the microbiota of the mouth, very important. People don't think about it. All right, from Christine, we talked about mixing and how to use and all that. Do we have a pot? Do we have a Zoom on how to get the most out of the supplements? I think we do. We do, but we've also added a lot. So this right. was a request that I had. Yeah. So we, we will do a new one on there. But yes, you can mix all those together. Well, She's good. And then she asked if she could take all supplements together, which the answer is no, you should not. Um, we, was there any harm if you do? No, but it's more effective to, to follow a certain program that I've highlighted a few times. I'm not going to do it now because it would take a lot, lot, a lot of time away, but, uh, yeah. But like an example is like magnesium or D3 in the morning with right. your first food, or your multi with the first meal, and then your magnesium late. Oh, away from other, away from other, um, vitamins and minerals. Right. Um, also just check out on our website under the learn more section. There's always like a little how to use and a pro tip. Those pro tips can help you. Um, but when it comes to mixing those powders, I mean, I do stuff uh, very similar. I do like to split up my reds and greens just because there are the similar grasses in there, but you don't have to split them up. The next question here is, uh, what about a product like a rice matcha and mushroom drink? That is actually this. This is our organic coffee. Has all, well, uh, all six, but six of the main adaptogenic mushrooms so yes. great, great product. Take a look at the supplement facts on the coffee. I think you'll be impressed. Right. But they're saying also the rise matcha. Oh. So like just having, making a matcha sure, tea, sure. mushroom matcha tea. I, wasn't um, thinking, yeah. I mean, you know, again, anything is possible. But right now we have the matcha in our super greens and the mushrooms in the coffee. Oh, oh yeah, I got to say that, yeah. Can you sell at a farmer's market? Sure. Yes, you can. Yes, black seed oil from Phil. Is black seed oil in the future? Yes, it is. It is. Actually, a standardized uh, black seed oil, possibly as high as 10%, maybe 5%, but by far better than any other product that's seen on the market. Right. Um, CBD internationally, unfortunately, our carriers are not shipping um, CBD internationally at this time. We really hope to have a solution in the future. Yes, the capsules can all be opened and mixed in a drink if someone has trouble swallowing. The only one that can't clearly be twisted open um, is the factor four. But what I've told people that cannot swallow those, you can either throw them in with your protein smoothie in a high speed blender, or I have some that also will melt in like a you know warm hottish cup of water, let it melt, and then drink it that way. Question about protein and amino acids. You want to talk about? Where is that? Um, uh, definitely both. So. Amino acids don't necessarily contribute to your grams of protein per day. And if you want to consider that they do, it's a small amount. So really the goal of uh, um, dietary consumption of protein is to get at or close to basically your body weight in pounds and grams of protein. That's, I mean, you would have to be taking quite a, I mean. Yeah, even at the best case, you'd be doing three to one. You could get three grams of protein per one gram of essential aminos. That would be best case scenario. Right. Um, so, and again, essential aminos were the building we, blocks of our protein. So the combination um, yeah. is very important. Whole food protein is just as important as anything. Yes. Oh, something about, is, do we have CoQ10? We do actually. We have it as ubiquinol in our factor four, which is uh, it's a, a very important ingredient. So make sure you guys check out the settlement facts there. 
That's a very powerful supplement. Yeah. Are they not the individual oils on the immunity blend? They're not listed. I don't know. Um, okay, well, we it's orange, clove, cinnamon, eucalyptus, rosemary, and uh, winter green peppermint. So those are the oils in it. I will get make sure that they get listed. No, 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 no. In the in the blend. Yeah. Cinnamon, clove. Yeah. Cinnamon, clove, orange, eucalyptus, and rosemary. Is peppermint in there? Oh, okay. One, two, Sorry. three, four, five, six. Sorry. Hmm. The winter green. Okay. All right. Let's see. Somebody says addressing the sexual health issue. I can confirm that the super reds is good for that. So no, thank, thank you, you for thank sharing you. that. Okay. Long question. Um, we do have iron in our women's multivitamin. Um, a lot of times, like if a if a female does not need the added iron, I suggest to them to take the men's. If a man if a man needs the added iron, you know, you can take the women's. Thanks for the feedback, Janny. Um, a question referring to children. Keep in mind, our products are formulated for adults 18 plus currently. We are coming out with our children's organic multivitamin gummy very soon, which I know my kids can't wait. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, specific what is this? Risk of taking methylene blue with sotrine. So there's a question here that says, is there any risk of taking methylene blue with a medication in uh, the SSRI class, which is a lot of the antidepressant medications? Depends on how you get your information. But right now, if you were to just to Google, it would show high risk, which show drug interaction, but that's because most of the dosing that's used in the studies to compare and to show the drug interactions is based on the IV dosing, because that's where a lot of the data is from, from IV. As far as oral dosing goes, we're on the very, 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 very low end, but it's still efficacious. It's like a sweet spot. We're at 20 milligrams per film. That 20 milligrams has shown to be clinically an efficacious dose, but not to cause the drug interaction side effects and th that you see and you read about because some of those are very serious, right? Serotonin syndrome is a serious side effect. It's so very rare. And to my knowledge, never seen with a dose as low as 20 milligrams per film. So take that for what you will, but I, I would be comfortable using it at the same time. Personally, I think it would probably have more, more benefit than risk. I would be like, oh, this is an amazing way to supplement or to augment my therapy. Right. Um, Shilajit. Oh, Shilajit popped up here. I wonder if Roderick had heard us talk about it because coming yes, soon. we are coming soon on Shilajit and actually we're taking it a step up with what we're doing on our Shilajit. So very, very excited about our product. Mm -hmm. For those of you who don't know what Shilajit is, S-H-I-L-A-J-I-T. And you can see all about the mic, the minerals, the humic and phobic complex all right the collagen peptides um is not vegetarian it's bovine so cow every time i hear collagen or some collagen i take a sip i love it um the, co the coffee this is our it's all on our website they're get, organic USDA coffee. certified organic coffee I don't, I don't have a factor four right here but factor four is our um coq10 uh, fish oil, garlic, and turmeric. So very, very, very powerful anti-inflammatory. Mm -hmm. um, all right. I think we need to probably wrap it up 25 minutes after here. I mean, we can breeze through. Sorry for those that are on YouTube that we're not actually pulling questions off of YouTube. We're just using the ones off of Zoom. Colostrum um, is in our... It's probably going to be in two things, but right now it's next up in our in our protein. So you will see colostrum in our protein and then we're considering it in another way too, possibly the standalone. 
Um, vitamin D and multi can be taken first thing in the morning, but magnesium should be separated two hours um, either way from taking other vitamins. So please, again, check out our learn more sections of each product. We do give you these tips. We do not sell the show legit yet. That's in the works. I like, I like berberine, but we don't have it right not now, yet. Christopher, not yet. Uh, Mark, you asked a question about testimonials. Yes, there is a testimonial page. Um, what is it? Is that a Facebook? Live, uh, yeah, Live Good Product Testimonials. Mm -hmm. um, so a lot of people post up there, but you can also ask your question there and people will give feedback. Um, a lot of stuff, questions right here about weight loss, and you'll hear me talk about it a lot, but it's really fueling your body right that's going to cause your body to kick into gear um, and, and start that weight loss. We are discussing possibly adding in a little fasting program. Um, so, you know, that will aid in a weight loss program. But any further questions about weight loss, just reach out to me. The question also is, that do we going to have weight loss products? Not one and done type thing, but you can see our lean body pack on the on the website and explains more about our philosophy on weight loss. Right. And we're going to be putting together like a fitness pack too. We're just waiting for one more product. Gut health is in the works. It's like top, top three. So it's just that... It's a finicky product to, to finalize, especially when you're talking about looking at prebiotic, probiotic, postbiotic, symbiotic. I mean, it's a difficult category. Probably more than one product, to be honest. Where are you looking? Just, uh, oh. Fish oil? Yeah, fish oil. Our fish oil is uh, ethically sourced off of in, from anchovy. Or sorry, it's a, yeah, anchovy. It's an anchovy. So we want to go with a small fish because we want to avoid the PCBs and the um, mercury that you can find in the larger fish. Yeah, so of course clean. Clean. Factor four is good for inflammation. <laughs> yes, pet category will be expanding. Good question, Phil. Hi, Christina. Asking about quercetin. Yes, love quercetin as well. Quercetin, berberine. We love. We love that. We'd like to see quercetin in a product. Come on, that. Thank you. Is that Rod? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Rod. That product has a dissonance. Oh, yes. Hey, Betty. Uh, gut products will absolutely have some digestive enzy enzymes for sure. That's actually the easy part, to be honest. I've been having no problem with uh, sourcing quality and no big deal. Um, question about a meal replacement shake. Uh, this is ki it's kind of an interesting topic because uh, it's not, well, at least in the U.S., it's not regulated. So a lot of companies take a, say, our, our like our protein powder. Okay. Our protein powder and they'll put on their meal replacement shake and i've looked at some i'm not going to mention names of companies but they also have very similar um supplement facts as ours i think even less calories i think this was like 90 calories and they're putting on their meal replacement shake now i think we all should know that 90 calories does not suffice a meal so um there is a certain percentage of, of macros you know fats carbohydrates and protein as well as calories so be careful when you're looking at or you're sourcing a, a meal replacement shake. It's probably not like that. I have done a video on how to make ours a meal replacement shake. That's simply by taking one to two scoops of the protein, adding in the collagen, super greens, some avocado or nut butter to get the fats in there, some fruit to add up the carbohydrates, and boom, you've got yourself a meal replacement shake. Much healthier. It, there was a question here on the, what's the most important product that we have or should take all. It depends on the day you ask me, but today I would tell you magnesium is probably the easiest, lowest hanging fruit. Most people are deficient and it's involved in so many things. Just challenge yourself. Take magnesium. Take it the way we'd say for eight weeks and tell me how you feel. You will notice a difference. Magnesium is fantastic. All right. What is in my glass? This is the collagen, actually. This is the natural appearance of it, dude, like we talked about. Yep, it's... It's got a nice aroma, almost like a light tea aroma. And if it's cold up where you live, try heating it up, putting it in, having it as a tea. It's great. And what else? Or adding it to your tea. Or add to your <laughs> tea. That's right. All right. All right, guys. 30 minutes. That's about it. Yes. Any questions that did not get answered, if they pertain to 
health and wellness and product, please send them over to me, lisa at livegood.com. If there's something else regarding shipping or financials or whatnot, you need to reach out to support at livegood.com. Thank you guys for watching. We love all your questions and all your support. Thank you. We'll see you next time. Bye now.